Hey there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to the end of week one of Camp NaNoWriMo. I actually attempted a couple of daily vlogs during the week, but I was so rushed and it, they were just, no, those are hitting the outtake bin and I don't know how to do the outtake thing, so they're just going to be gone. It's It's been a about what I should expect the first week of April to be like in academia because April is the almost end of the semester. Like we go a little bit into May. So it's not, and it's not just the end of the semester, it's the end of the academic year. So it's busy, really busy. So here's lesson number one. I should have done exactly what I did last year right from the get go and set my Camp NaNoWriMo goal at 30 hours instead of 50,000 words. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that was never going to happen. And it took a conversation with a fellow author and occasional author tuber who actually has a few series of books out. So she actually knows how to author. <laughs> who was saying that, you know, she, her goal was really much smaller in terms of, it was still a word goal, but it was much smaller. And she's like, you know, why don't you rethink that? And I'm like, okay, why don't I try listening to somebody who clearly knows what she's doing? And I decided that really having a word goal doesn't make a whole lot of sense for a number of reasons. And just trying to get an hour a day of writing done is much more reasonable. So I switched over to 30 hours as a goal, which also was kind of better for my cabin because I was dragging the stats down a bit. On the whole, the cabin's doing great, but um, me being at 50,000 words and, you know, not even making 3,000 by day, whatever it was for, yeah, that wasn't working. <laughs> so what am I writing? Um, since I didn't do any March prep anything, um, I'm, I'm sort of doing what I had set as my goal at the beginning of the year to do, sort of, but it's not the sequel to what I wrote in November. It's, if anything, a prequel or possibly a bunch of stuff that will turn into flashbacks. I'm still not sure. Because when I was trying to edit my November NaNoWriMo draft, I found that I, there were a lot of things that were not working, part of which was because I didn't know some of these really important answers about the character's motivation, about the magic system. Um, so I needed to kind of go back to square one. I also decided I was probably pushing too hard at making the story do certain things instead of letting it happen. Up until November of 2017, I was a hardcore pantser. I did not outline anything. I mean, other than in my head, having a vague Freytag's triangle beginning, middle, end, that was it. Um, and I, I think I need to get back to that, at least for this, because it just, it felt really forced. So I'm trying to unforce it. The uh, convenient thing that happened in the meantime is Writing Excuses, which I will link below, had a couple of podcasts on magic systems. So I am now acquainted with Sanderson's Laws of Magic <laughs> um, and some of the variations on how people look at magic systems. Most importantly, what a magic system needs to do in a story and how that impacts what type of magic system it is. And that's when I realized it needed to be a soft magic system. I'm used to writing things where the magic is the solution. There's, you know, questing and, and finding pieces and eventually putting together the MacGuffin spell that fixes everything. That can't be this story. This story is about somebody who's trying to find her way out of magic. So, 
and find balance in life. So magic cannot be the answer to everything. And so that means probably a softer magic system is what's going to work better. Which is good news because that means I don't need to know all the rules right away. There, I will eventually know the rules, but the characters probably won't know the rules. And that was very liberating to realize. I don't know if this is a common issue for people making the jump from fan fiction to original fiction. It might be, it might not be. But I think part of my problem is I was so used, I am so used to having established world and, and really established characters that, that um, I didn't lay the groundwork the way it needed to be done. So now I'm going back and laying that groundwork. Usually the mistake is people start stories too early. And I think my problem was I started too late. Again, all of this might end up being flashback to give the backstory, but um, I definitely needed to go back. And I'm getting little notifications that say I may be running out of disk space here. So I'm going to stop here and say I hope you are doing well with camp. Um, let me know in comments how you're doing, what you're writing, whether you're writing something new or editing or whatever. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.